I'm beating in nine now and a chance to extend on that. How would you sum up the start to the season? Um, it, it's been it's been it's been pretty decent, pretty solid. Um, considering um there was a there was a decent turnover uh, of players in, in the summer and a lot of them came late on in the window. Um, a few a few of the boys didn't have much of a preseason. Um, in with the group with the with the coaching staff. So, um. I, w- I would say it's been a pretty decent start, and um, there's been a there's been a couple of results that we've drawn, um, that we 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 would be a bit, bit disappointed. I think one of the weekend was was a disappointing draw, um, and a couple of other draws. I think we we kind of let ourselves down a little bit, and but all in all, I think it's been it's been a pretty steady, decent, um, decent start to the season, and. We've got a three-game week coming up and we could be having a completely different conversation next week and, and hopefully it's it's a positive one. Well, you certainly touched on there that in the last couple of weeks it's not been quite as solid at the back. Uh, um, so how frustrating is it that in the last two games you've just conceded four goals after the back of so many clean sheets? Yeah, it is. It's it's um, it's disappointing. Um, I have conversations with people and... Like we're we're playing a game we're playing a game of football. Um, we're against the team who who are trying to disrupt us, who are trying to score goals against us, and it's never going to be our way for 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 every game we play for the whole game. Um, um yes, there have been some goals, and um, we we have improvements to make. Um, but I think as long as we're not losing games, I I have this thing in my head where five points is better than. Losing five games, do you know what I mean? So, as di- as disappointed as we are, as soft as the goals have been, we're we're still creating chances, we're still scoring goals. Um, um, us, me as a defender, I've got to go back to basics and and uh, defend first, and 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 we start with a clean sheet and finish with a clean sheet, and let let the boys up front score and create chances. But, um, it's been positive. Um. We we've conceded two two sloppy goals two well not too sloppy two easy goals for the opposition and and we we've created enough chances to win that game four five two so um hopefully we bring that into the weekend and, and we um tighten up at the back end and all is good again. We've uh, played well over two hundred games now for Exeter and you're saying that you need to tighten up at the back. Uh, moving on to your leadership, you've you've been appointed vice captain this season. How have you settled into that responsibility? Yeah, I think if you ask anybody um, at the club, uh, any of the players at the minute, they they would probably say that I like um, I like I wouldn't say being in control, but I I, I would say they. They would say I like the kind of um, pressure of people asking me questions and and giving answers and and giving given kind of advice and me and MJ are kind of the go to people for anybody who have questions. So listen, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's it, it's it's a kind of um, different role as you're kind of officially in a leadership group. Um, whether whether as as before in previous years, I, I had always in my head that I, I, I was. I was a leader of captain my country at an underage level and stuff like that. Um, I'm I'm on the I'm on the wrong end of the wrong end of the age of the squad at the minute. So um, there's kind of a lot a lot of young boys that kind of um haven't got um much game time, haven't haven't played in many games. So it's it, it's down to me and and the older boys who've played a certain amount of games to kind of um help the young lads through it and it's it's on the pitch and off the pitch if if young lads have have troubles off the pitch and they're, and they're overthinking things and they have they have any questions they, they they know that my phone's my phone's always on and stuff like that so I'm really enjoying it um and it's something that I've I've always kind of seen myself doing and and MJ's been uh, MJ's t- taken to it really well as well so I think me and MJ are kind of um complete opposite people I'm more more aggressive and he's more chilled out so I kind of, I think we kind of balance each other out in that way so it's but it's been really good so far yeah yeah a bit of a bad cop good cop going on there then um absolutely so talking about MJ there's going to be a change of guard with penalties like a couple of years ago you were our main penalty taker oh, you missed a couple in the row but <laughs> <laughs> would you would you fall, would have volunteer yourself again to take to take the next penalty yeah, listen. Um, I'm 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 always confident. Um, 
if if it's a penalty shoot, I'm always um, first or second. Um, and listen, if 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 I'm called upon to take it, um, I'll, I'll put my hand up straight away, no problem. Um, I'm not sure who's on it at the minute, but I don't think I'm too far off it. But um, listen, my mindset has changed um, over the last year or two. Um, I'm kind of like let the strikers take it. Um, if they miss, they miss. If not, if if it comes back around to me, I've I've no issue with taking them, no problem at all. But if I take one and I score, and somebody else is on it, I have no issue. But um, thanks for reminding me. I you missed a couple of penalties in a row. I really appreciate it. Uh, well, we'll move on to this weekend's game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Swift, moving swiftly on. Um, uh, like us, Newport are kind of perennial challengers for the promotion. What have you made of them this season? Um, I, I'm not. I'm not quite sure, actually. To be honest with you, um, they're one of them sides where, on, over the recent years, they've been they've been strong. They've been started off really well. They've They've had a, a core of the team that have, a, you know that's going to play. Um, they've lost a couple of players. I know Podge is with us and Labadee has left and a few others have left. So they've kind of lost a, the, the core group there. Um, and their team spirit would have been, would have been really, really high. Um, I think they've kind of had a, a slow start. Um, I know they, they've lost their manager and they haven't appointed a manager yet, I don't think. So for me, honest with you... I'm not sure what to expect. I, I know they've they've kind of changed their style. They're making a, a couple of passes at the back, and they'll still be they'll still be competitive. They'll still have the same 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 basics, the same structure as they, as they have done previously. They'll compete. They'll they'll run. They'll be good at set pieces. They'll put the ball in the box. So, um, what I'm expecting is a typical League Two game where we've got to compete first and then let our game shine through, and, and hopefully it's a uh, it's a good day at the park for us. It was a tough game against Newport last year. I mean, we went one nil up and then we lost two players, but we managed to dig on and, and salvage a draw. Do you think that kind of spirit uh, is just what, which is what going to drive us this weekend? Yeah, I think. Listen, when you when you're put in in circumstances like that, it, you have no choice. You either crumble and you lose four nil, or or you stick together and you and you grind a result out. Um, I think we were very unlucky that day. I think I think they they scored like late on, maybe eight eight minute or something like that. So we, we were really unlucky, um, not to win that game. Um, hopefully we don't get two players sent off uh, on the weekend, and we won't have to do that. But listen, I, I've said previously in in different interviews, um, I've got to applaud um our um recruitment and and the management staff for for the for the not only the good players we bring in, but the the the, the, the kind of characters that. We've brought in um, on the pitch and off the pitch. We've got a really good um, um, team spirit in the change room. It, it's it, it is good banter, and but when it when it gets serious and on the pitch, it's it, it is um, it is really serious. So um, we've brought good players in, and listen, we're we're hoping for nothing less than three points in the weekend. So we've got good players in, but we lost a couple of players to Newport last year. Obviously, Robbie Wilmot was on in on loan, and Alex Fisher is also. He started quite well there. Coming up mm-hmm. against those two, are you confident what you'll know what to expect from them? Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of strange when you come up against players you've you've played with for a couple of seasons. You, you train with them day in day out. So, um, yeah, listen, it's going to be good to see the two lads. Um, they're they're going to come here and, and want to play well. They're going to want to win a, a, as you would against against one of your old clubs. So, um, you know, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing um, Fish and Robbie, uh, the two two good blokes, and. Uh, and hopefully, I wish them all the best for the season. But, but I think this weekend I'll, I'll try to leave one on fish, try to throw an elbow or something, see, see how we get on. 